good everybody welcome to an epic my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we do have action figure appointment episode whatever the hell episode this is i do not remember the episode right off the bat it's like seven or eight or, or something like that but now that action figure surgery episode 50 is out of the way we can finally continue on with little episodes of action figure appointment future episodes of action figure surgery where i don't have to sit around and wait on fix-ups and stuff i can just put them out to you guys and i'm super excited about that i loved episode 50 had a great job on that can't wait to finish some of those things i do apologize again for not being able to finish some of those things but today i think we got some pretty cool swippages and swappages going on right here some big hex for you guys that we're going to get into how to solve some issues and i also want to point out that yesterday i went to walmart i almost started a vlog series yesterday i was like going to walmart and doing all kinds of crazy stuff yesterday in town and i was like bro what if i just start vlogging stuff if you guys would be interested in just a random vlog of me going and doing random stuff, it would literally just be hanging out and me going through a typical day. Maybe a little figure stuff in between, some behind the scenes stuff on some future videos and stuff like that would happen in the video. But let me know if you guys would be interested in something like that. I also picked up this Conor McGregor Jazz Wears knocking everything the hell over figure. So I picked up the Conor McGregor figure as you guys can see right here. And I thought about reviewing this. If you guys want to see a review on this, let me know. Anyway, setting my background back up in Roman Reigns, freaking big dog thing he can just return and embarrass me? Answer me. But anyways, guys, you guys know that Roman Reigns did return at SummerSlam. He returned at SummerSlam. Big deal. I thought it was the best part of the show by far. He's got the new veneer teeth going on. He's looking good. Today, we're going to do a Roman Reigns fix-up, and I want to give a huge shout-out to Mike, the wrestling collector, my boy over there, for the fix-up idea. We're going to go ahead and get into what we're going to do today. Now, the only thing that I'm running into is I don't know which base I want to use because I don't want the little gappage right here in the tattoo. I don't want that little gappage there, so I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to do this because there's a couple ways, but some of the arms that I want to use, I don't think the colors of the tattoos actually match up, and then I have to I have to take the vest off and do some swippages and swappages and, and get a lot of things going to get it right, but I think once we do get it right, I think it's going to be super fire. Now, that what we're trying to do is at the end, I want to have the middle Roman's head sculpt because I think this fits the current day Roman. I think it's a better head sculpt than this, and I think it's a better head sculpt than this. I like this head sculpt the best. I think it's the Elite 56. I want this head sculpt. I want a nice body that doesn't have a huge gap in the shoulder, but I also want the white arms right here with the white details from Elite 56, and then I want the white boot, the Nike boot details from here. So I need these feet and these arms to go on a base body that does not have that gap tattoo right there. So we're kind of limited on our options. You guys can see here this gap is smaller, but the tattoos, I think, are two different colors. I think this is more of the lighter blue color. This is the same, but there's a gap, and then this is the same, but there's a gap. So I would just say, oh, take this vest off, take the head scan off, and then put the head scan you want on there, and put the vest you want on there, but the gap on this figure, I think, is the biggest, and I hate that gap. And then I thought about, well, why don't we use the brand new Roman? I think this is the, is this the three-pack Roman, or is this the, I can't remember which Roman this is. Maybe it's the Elite 68. This Roman that we fixed up with the head sculpt, the tattoo's way too big on the torso. The arm has superior tattoo. Like, this tattoo's perfect, but it has the older arms, and I'm not sure these, this peg on this shoulder is gonna be able to fit the arms that we want on here and the colors would be different so i'm just running into all kinds of football issues man but i think i figured out what i want to do finally i really want to use that one because the vest would be on there you wouldn't even be able to see the chest tattoo but since that arm new peg thing is going on and the coloration wouldn't match up i think what we're going to do is we're going to roll with this roman we're going to put these arms over here and we're going to put this head sculpt over here and these boots over here so we're going to need all three of these romans to conduct that fix up and we will do that later on i think that's going to be sweet i think you guys are going to enjoy that fix up a lot. And then next up guys, I wanted to show this off. So I guess the rest is kind of just going to be some fig hacks and showcasing what I wanted to show you guys. And then we'll get into the fix up to finish up the, uh, the, the appointment episode. But you guys know that Elite 78 Drake Maverick, right? His hands were way too damn big. Like his hands were oversized. He was looking like Kawhi Leonard out here looking crazy. And Kawhi Leonard hands are just not going to fly, man. They're just not going to fly. It looked kind of ridiculous. So what I discovered is you can take, I think this is either Lacey Evan hands. It's either Lacey Evans or Mandy Rose. I think Mandy Rose is too dark. I believe this is Lacey Evans hands. You're going to take Elite 76 Lacey Evans hands and you're going to put these in here and they fit really snug, like super duper snug. They fit perfectly. It's kind of crazy. They fit in there snug and you're going to put the Lacey Evans hands inside of the Drake Maverick arms and this is how you're going to fix your Drake Maverick oversized hand problem. Look how much better that looks. That looks so much more natural and if anything, you could say, oh, his hands look too small now, but I'd rather rather him be smaller and, you know, baby hand-like, because he's a small man compared to ginormous freaking iron giant freaking thing freaking Kawhi 
Leonard hands. So that's what we got right there. I wanted to showcase that. I thought that would be a cool fig hack for you guys. So if you guys have Elite 76 Lacey Evans or any women's figure with interchangeable hands that are similar to this skin, is this skin tone, I guess they don't have to be perfect match, but these hands work way better, and I think that is a perfect fig hack right there. So if you want to fix up your Elite 78 Drake Maverick, there you go. Another hack that I was thinking of, guys, is if you ever want to put white gloves on a guy or white gloves on anybody, I think this Ricochet will look nice because he has white wrist tape. Anybody that has white wrist tape and has interchangeable hands, this will probably look really, really good on it, but I thought this Ricochet attire would look good with this, so this is what I was thinking. If you pop these hands out right here, pop out the Ricochet hands, there you go. He obviously has no hands now. Then you're going to take your Elite 72 Rey Mysterio, pop these hands out, make sure you don't lose your wrist gauntlets right there, and you're going to pop these white gloved hands into Ricochet for, for this, just for this one. You could obviously pop this on other guys, but I think for Ricochet right here, it works out perfectly because he has white wrist tape. The white wrist tape gives it the illusion that he has on gloves and like wristbands or something like that. So there you go. There's your Ricochet with white gloves. And this can work with anything, you know. I think he kind of looks kind of sick, Ricochet with gloves on. Kind of looks like Mr. Mime or something. But there's a little fig hack for you guys. If you guys want to put white gloves on somebody or I, I don't know, you can get creative with it, but I think it looks kind of badass. Are we? Ricochet with white gloves. And then I was thinking to myself, you could do this with Seth Rollins. If you did the Elite 45 Rollins, you could probably do it. But I think the hands would be super loosey-goosey in there, like the wrist, you know, because it's, it, 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 you get what I'm saying. There you go. If you want to put white gloves on a guy, white wrist tape works out perfectly. It doesn't look too bad. And then another thing I wanted to do today before we get into the Roman switch is I also wanted to go ahead and put these camo pants on this Mr. T just because I want I want to see what it looks like, all right? I wanted to see what this looks like, and I honestly don't know how the hell I'm going to get these freaking pants off. They're going to be super duper hard to get off. While I'm taking the time to take these pants off, I want to give a huge birthday shout out to Brad or my brother Taylor. Today is his birthday, so happy birthday to Taylor down in the comment section below. Love you, bro. Keep keep helping out with the channel whenever you can. All right, I finally got the John Brown pants off. Now we got to put this on the Mr. T figure, and this is probably going to be a nightmare as well. Jesus Christ, I don't look forward to this, but I wanted to see what this looked like because it'd be, you know, these the shirt here and the pants here had the same exact pattern, so I thought it would be pretty cool. And there we go. I don't know, man. That's pretty freaking sick. I love that. I think that looks so badass because you got the gold matching with all the gold, like the chains. You got the gold on the, the wrist gauntlets and the belt and the chains matching to the boots and then you got all the camo man that's pretty fire i like that i like that a lot that's sick ass that, that's sick af and i actually have a, a creator wrestler that i'm gonna put together with him and make like a sick ass tag team but there you go you got mr t in the all camo that's super fire and then we got champa that's naked now but now guys let's move on to our roman reigns fix-up swappage all right guys first order of business is going to be to take off this vest because as you guys know if i haven't taught you anything if you're listening to me closely if you're ever doing a Roman Reigns head swap, always, always, always remove his vest first and take this vest far away from the heat. Put it, put it across the room. Don't even look at it. Don't even mention it because it will warp and then it will ruin it. So what you're going to do is we're going to take off this vest as well and we're going to move this vest as well across the room because we don't want it to warp any vests. We don't want any vests warping. We get any vests warping here today and it's going to be very hot. It's going to be very uncomfortable for everybody. That includes me. We to get any more warped vests and the shit is going to hit the fan. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat up these arms of the Roman while simultaneously heating up these arms and head sculpt of the Roman, just like so. And we also need to heat up this head. And I'm kind of scared because Roman Reigns head sculpts are very hard to get off because of his long hair. And you can break stuff. So I got the white trusty hair dryer. We're going to get in here. Try to get the appointment going very nicely. Try not to screw up anything. Let's go ahead and hit it. Alright guys, moment of truth here. I think I'm gonna start off with this head sculpt right here because I don't want it to, I don't want to mess anything up. Yeah, I knew that wouldn't get hot enough, you piece of S. This arm off, this arm also off. This head sculpt, yeah, the head sculpts are a piece of trash, bro. Oh my God, this one's hot. Okay, don't give me another blister, please. God in heaven, don't do it. Alright, we got that arm on there. Gotta put the other white gauntlet arm on there. Didn't get as much heat on it as I wanted, but uh, yeah. Ugh. 
And then we gotta get the freaking, gotta get the freaking boots on there as well. See, look at that trash right there, bro. Look at the, look at the tattoo color. Can you guys even see it on camera? You can see it a little bit. See, that bothers the hell out of me. I hate that. I hate that that doesn't match. Uh, now that I'm looking at it, I don't like it. I don't like it, man. But I think I don't like it because I can see the chest hat. I think when the vest is over it, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it that much. So let's go ahead and switch out these head sculpts. We're kind of done with this Roman. I'm gonna go ahead and put these arms over here, though. That way this Roman's not just, you know, nothingness. You know, nothingness, just garbage. So we're gonna put this, these Roman arms up here, and now we're gonna heat up both of these head sculpts while heating up these boots. All right, guys, that should be good enough here. It should definitely be good enough. I don't want to burn my freaking fingers. All right, got the one Roman Nike boot. Got the one Roman Nike boot. All right, this this didn't get heated up, so I'm not even going to try that. We'll switch that afterwards, but uh, let's go ahead and pop off these heads, or at least try. Okay, we got the one Roman head. Oh, my Lanta and the stars of Liza. That is freaking hot. Okay, we got the other one as well. Now we're going to pop this head sculpt over here. He's got blue on his all in his hair from that custom I did forever ago when uh, Roman Reigns went to Fox. But there we go. Got that on there. These boots, man. All right, I'm going to switch out these real quick. All right, guys, let's see if I can get these boots off now. Got that one off. Now you got to put the left one in from the other one, like so. Pop that off. Pop this on. Oh, my goodness. That was nuts. All right, now we got to push this in. And now all we got to do is put the vest on. So I'll see you guys in the next segment where we look at everything we've done. All right, guys, so here's everything we did here today on Action Figure Appointment. Here is the Roman Fix Up. Pretty freaking fire. When I saw Mike do this, I said, oh, yeah, bro, I got to do this. But I, I didn't like the head sculpt he used. I like this head sculpt better. Just fits better. I'm probably going to use this as an updated Roman for now in my videos and such. I just like this head sculpt better. The Elite 56 Roman Reigns, best Roman Reigns they've ever made, hands down. Best attire, best head sculpts. I just love this. If they would true effects this, even though I think it looks great anyways, this is beautiful. I love it. I love how the white ties in. You got little accents of blue with the white here and the white on the boots. That is beautiful, man. That is beautiful. I'm so happy Roman Reigns is back. MDT champion looking like an animal. He's become one of my favorite guys, man. I just love Roman. I think he's fantastic. I used to just despise him, but then I was like, dude, this this dude's, like, I've always liked him in the ring, but then, you know, the forcage and the just shoving him down our throats constantly definitely got on my nerves, but man, what a beautiful specimen. Then you have the uh, Mr. T in all camo looking super fire. Absolutely great. I love the way that came out. You have the fig hack in the white gloves. Very, you know, not, nothing too crazy, but I thought that would be interesting for you guys. Maybe you guys can think of some creative things to do with it. And then you have the Drake Maverick Elite 78 fig hack slash fix up with the uh, women's hands or the Lacey Evans hands. That's perfect. It, lo it looks perfect. That works out great. And I'm super glad that's super easy to fix. And it makes that figure a hundred times better. But that is going to do it for Action Figure Appointment, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope it was a good episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I'm getting the hell out of here. Going to go eat some lunch. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.